Hi, welcome back to Just Facts. A jury in Los Angeles found rapper Tory Lanez guilty of three felonies in the 2020 shooting of hip-hop star Megan Thee Stallion, which left her wounded and with bullet fragments in her feet. The jury deliberated for one day before convicting Daystar Peterson, 30, of assault with a semi-automatic firearm, having a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. The charges could result in up to 22 years in prison. Lanes was deafeningly silent as the verdict was read aloud. In the courtroom, he was handcuffed. Megan the Stallion testifies against Tory Lanes, saying she was going through torture by having to testify and relive this. After the jury left the courtroom, Lanes's father, Sonstar Peterson, jumped to his feet and yelled, This wicked system stands judged before God Almighty. You two are evil, wicked people, he yelled at the two prosecutors in the case. You are fully aware of what you did. He was removed from the courtroom by deputies and continued to yell in the hallway. Megan the Stallion, aka Megan Pete, testified during the trial that Lanes fired a handgun at the back of her feet and shouted for her to dance as she walked away from the car they were in. She required surgery to have bullet fragments removed from her feet. The shooting sparked a national debate that peaked during the trial, focusing on black victims' reluctance to speak with police, the protection of black women, gender politics in hip hop, and online toxicity. Prosecutors emphasized in closing arguments Megan's courage in coming forward and the negativity she has faced as a result of it. They claimed she had no incentive to tell the truth. How could she possibly lie? Alexander Bott, Deputy District Attorney, stated. She's been subjected to a torrent of venom. For what purpose? Because you came forward as a victim of domestic violence? In his closing argument, Lanes's lawyer claimed that the shots were fired by Megan's friend Kelsey Harris during a jealous fight over Lanes, who tried to stop the shooting. Megan, according to Tory's attorney, created a more sympathetic narrative by pinning the shooting on Lanes. Megan Pete is lying. She lied about everything in this case right from the start, Mdesian said. She lied here under oath. Harris denied being the shooter and stated that Lanes was the one with the gun. Her attorney declined to comment on her involvement in an email. This case is finally closed. But do you think Tory Lanes is guilty? And Megan told the full story? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below.